So here we have a 2013 Kia Optima. So the uh, master switch right here don't work, which there's really nothing left of it. All the other ones still work, but that one. So uh, take a little tiny screwdriver and put down this door. I already did this, but the video didn't work. So start over again. And there's gonna be one right here. All right, so next we're gonna remove this whole panel. Um, get yourself longest flathead screwdriver and put it behind the door. Pop, get that nice little pop. Alrighty. Coming out here, you have two wiring harnesses. Okay, it's gonna take two hands. Um, so I'll get that one off, and I think I can leave that one. So yeah, I'll just I'll just get this one off. All right, and then this next one will come off. That way you can you, you can work on this. And... Alright, let me see here. Okay, so we got two Phillips heads right here. And then it looks like one is back there, all nice and hidden. And how's this in? Probably just a push in. Yeah, so we just squeeze the sides and pull that out. Let's start with this top one. Then I'll move on to this back one. And for this bottom one, I just had to grab a little short stubby one. And pull it out. Uh, first, you want to compare the two. Make sure they match, which they do. The next, we'll put it back to where it goes. Put one, I'm gonna put one screw in because what I want to do is I'm gonna plug it in and uh, test it before we get this door put all back together and learn that they sold us a junk part, which happens. I, I didn't buy this one from Kia. I don't remember where I bought this from, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna have to. I'll look that up. Obviously, I'll leave it in the description. So yeah, let's get it plugged back in and test it. All right, got to put it back in. It's lit up nicely. Perfect. Put your screw head in the back, back in, just because it's easier to get to. All right, once you get that bottom screw back in, you put the wiring harnesses back together, and just line up the holes at the bottom. Yeah, it's not something you can do with one hand, so you just line up the holes. And then we'll get that put back together and we'll get that top plate put back in. You really just want to start up here at top and hang it. And then everything else should pretty much line up. Give it a couple taps, make sure it's all in there properly. There's this piece right here. Those, those just slide over the three screws. Hook it in here. All right, perfect. I'll get these last two screws put in. One. Sorry, I'm not gonna 
not gonna waste any more of your time. Really simple, quick video. Everything's good. All right, so that's how you replace the uh, the master switch.